Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is a, another episode from our Amazon review series. Now this is also a special requested one. Uh, we did get a request from Feachi again and uh, here's what we got in the mail from them. As you can see it is a, uh, a nice long box. Uh, it does have their little emblem right here. Uh, ended up Amazon did not do a great job at packaging this. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty long, so they decided to put in a long box, but the long box was almost twice as long as this, and they only threw a little bit of paper in there. So the end of this got kind of squished down. Fortunately, I think the inside is okay here, but uh, let's open it up, and I'll show you what we've got. All right, everybody. Well, here you go. This is all the stuff that's in the uh, box here. As you can see here, of course, this is a scope set. Uh, and of course the main scope with uh, a lot of extra pieces, uh, the instructions, and even a cleaning cloth and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and touch up on some of these and uh, then we'll kind of get into the scope a little bit. Uh, first off, we've got basically it looks like a little uh, extender tube. Uh, the extender tube being uh, kind of a shade there so you don't get the glare on uh, the front optics there. Uh, this is basically the exact same thing, but this is an eye relief, uh, and it is also for um, keeping shading and everything like that, uh, so you're not you're not getting a glare on the optics as well. Uh, it is extended out relatively well, and then you've got this uh, this neat kind of cushiony kind of feel to it. So it does extend the length. I mean, you've got an extra uh, almost six inches there that uh, you're going to extend if you put both of these on there for the length of the the length of the scope and it's already fairly long so keep that in mind uh yeah when you go to use it uh, but these uh, this one screws on this one just slips on over the back uh, then we do have of course the two clamps and uh, these are set up for use on either a pick or a weaver rail uh, and then of course it also has the wrench to go with it and of course just like with many optics you get a cleaning cloth uh, now, on this right here, as you can see, we do have the uh, covers. They were already on, so keeps your keeps your optics nice and clean. You don't have to worry about dust and dirt and stuff getting in there. And, uh, you know, f just either pull off or flip open. If you're going to pull it off, uh, put those on. I believe these fit right over top of the, uh, the end of that as well. Let's see. Yeah, it fits over that too. Um, it's not quite as snug as it is on here but it does work and so you can put that on without a problem. Um, it looks like there's actually a little ring right here uh, that uh, you spin off and put this on so I'm sure this this ring can then be um, spun on the front of this so you don't have quite these uh, the edges. They're not quite sharp but they're definitely not rounded over like this is. So uh, there you go there. But uh, and I didn't actually mention this yet, but what this actually is, is an 8 to 32 by 50 uh, AOEG uh, tactical scope. Uh, now, again, this is the, the 8 to 32, of course, that being your, your standard kind of magnification. Uh, and then you've got your 50, which is the uh, how many millimeters across this uh, this optics the optics here on the front are uh, so brings in lots of light because it is very large so uh, it helps you that way of course it's very long and everything because you do have a very large um, you do have a very large range of uh, magnification on this so uh, definitely really nice in that aspect now also on this of course you have your standard uh your windage and elevation knobs there and i'm going to go ahead and pop this off the back you have your adjustment on the back here with your plus and minus so for those of us who who have to wear glasses or or uh, contacts or anything like that or their vision is just not quite perfect you can of course use that to adjust there you do have a red and green illumination for the crosshairs and uh, and and drop field there, and then this piece here is the magnification zone, and it is numbered, of course, on the top. If you move it all the way around counterclockwise, it brings you into your largest magnification of 32, and then if you spin it back around, you go clear down to your eight. 
so pretty standard and straightforward when it comes to how it works and everything uh, just like uh, the majority of scopes that are out there it uh, it's just the basically the same kind of thing uh, now again like I said this is very long um, it is uh, I, I think this is right around a foot long maybe give or take give or take a half an inch or so um, so it is fairly long uh, you do want to keep that in mind for what you're going to use it for of course with uh, a 32x magnification uh, I'd expect you to be using it on very long shots uh, with the uh, with the instructions here I will say the instructions do seem to be pretty nice um, they're in uh, clear English. Uh, it is only one page front and back, but it does go over. It has uh, multiple topics on the top bulleted there. Um, it has the uh, information on how to focus, uh, mounting instructions, uh, pre-zeroing instructions, of course, by taking off the covers and uh, adjusting your, again, your windage and elevation knobs. Uh, it has a, then it has an actual zeroing uh, instructions here and it does say about the windage and elevation knobs um, 50 yards it says at one eighth of an inch 100 yards at a quarter 200 at a half and 300 yards at three quarters of an inch and that's the movement per click it says so uh, that's how far it moves at those distances okay everybody well we're out here I found a uh location that has some de nice topography and stuff we're actually right in a parking lot of a local store that uh, actually is kind of right against the edge of town uh, so it doesn't have a whole lot of stuff obviously there's not much out there you might be able to see a house like way out there in the trees uh, but we've got some farmland and some hills and and woods and stuff like that around here so uh, sorry about any background noise. Of course, there's going to be some cars and, and some various other things kind of going on around here. But uh, what we're going to go ahead and take a look at, we'll take a look at see what this looks like. Um, as you can already kind of see, we're uh, looking through the viewfinder here. And uh, it is going to take a little bit to kind of get, get set up in there to get uh, a good picture. Uh, well, we need to go a little higher, so we're getting up over that fence there, but there you go, kind of look around. Now you can see there's the crosshairs, and there you can see the rangefinder there at the bottom, I believe, or at least I believe that's what it is. I may be a little off, but I'm pretty sure that's what they consider that part. Uh, you can see there, well, there's the house that I was talking about. Again, that's what it looks like without it. Now this is the 8x magnification here. So you can see how much it brings it in already. All right, so, uh, so there we go. Now we're on the 8x magnification and something else here uh, at this end point here. You can see right there on the end of the scope. These are actually distances for um, where uh, you're trying to fo put your focus and I know this is going to be this is hard to see because of the uh, this one is wanting to focus on uh, everything out there Let's see there we go maybe that helps a little but uh, you can see it does go down to uh, 25 yards is the closest yeah roughly somewhere around 25 yards and then it goes clear up to 200 300 and then it says infinity and uh, that goes off of uh, I think it's this little dot right here uh, so right there that little dot is where it's set to so not only do you have this ability to zoom in and out but you also have the ability to bring it into focus when you're looking at different distances all right so now we have it set to I'm not going to go through all the stages, but we have it set to, uh, this is 20x magnification. And let's see if we can get it lined up there. There we go. So there you go, that's 20x magnification. And, uh, yeah, this is, 
not easy without a stock to kind of use to balance from. But there you go. So there's that. And there's where we're looking to is right, right there. Right at the tip of my finger. That's where we're looking at. Now let's go ahead and check out. This is maximum magnification. This is 32 magnification. We'll see if we can get ourselves in there. Um, again, this is a little difficult to kind of get everything lined up. Uh, the eye relief is, of course, uh, a little bit difficult, especially when you get up to these higher magnifications because it does shrink that picture down quite a lot. There you go. All right, we got it balanced in there a little bit. And you can see, of course, how close that is. And again, we're looking at it from that kind of a distance. So from that distance, I mean, that's a huge, huge magnification. Uh, of course, looking at it through this lens is gonna be difficult. Um, obviously, it's hard to align it uh, using just the phone and everything. So kind of hard in that aspect. But for those of you who are doing long distance shots and things like that, uh, be it target shooting or anything else, uh, this could definitely be a very nice scope to use for something like that. Obviously it does start off the 8x so you are going to be making longer shots uh, straight out of the gate basically. But uh, I think that'll go ahead and do it. I, I like this. It's a really nice scope. Uh, it definitely has a nice large picture for the most part uh, with it being that 50 millimeter optics on the front there. Uh, has of course you know your standard settings with stuff as well as having some of those uh, additional focal features uh, so makes it really nice you guys want to check this out you can of course go down there in the description below we have the link for it down there as well as the links to our social media and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already as well as ringing that bell hit that bell icon and it'll get notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Alright guys, well, it's been another episode from the Amazon Review Series. My name is Cougar, and I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!